What's up guys, Justin here with DCGessentials.com back with another Blender Materials tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to adjust the size of materials inside of Blender using nodes. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so if you want to follow along, um, I'm using this fun waffle texture from 3dtextures.me, which I will link to in the notes down below for this video. And so you can download that for free and follow along. So we've got this set up where we've got the different maps going into the areas where they should go in the principled BSDF. And I will link to a video down below on how to set those up really quickly. Um, but I wanted to talk specifically about a way that we can use our nodes in order to adjust the size of this material, right? Because right now all we have is we have our color maps going into our principled BSDF, but we can't really adjust how big or small this is. So you could go into your UV editor and change the UVs manually, but I want to talk about a quick way to do that inside of the shader editor. And so what we're going to do is we just want to add a couple nodes. So there's two nodes that we need in order to do this. We need to add a texture coordinate node. So if I add texture coordinate, that node's going to be right here. And then we need to add a mapping node. So that's going to go right here. So we've got these two nodes right here that we're going to use in order to adjust the size of our object. So the mapping node, you can see how it has a lot of different things that you can adjust, right? You can adjust things like location, rotation, other things like that. But at the moment, it's not doing anything because it's not actually linked into anything. So if we were to take this mapping node and notice how I've already got nodes going into the vector points right here. Now I could just drag this directly in here, but just for simplicity's sake, I've got this going into a single node. So if we were to take the mapping node and just plug it in, notice how this doesn't do anything, right? We get this kind of like weird shaded look. Well, that's because the mapping node doesn't understand the coordinates of the texture in the 3D space, right? So right now this isn't going to do anything positive for us. That's why we need the texture coordinate node. And so what this is going to do is this is going to generate the texture coordinates based on the vertex positions of the mesh. And so what we want to do for what we're doing right now is we want to drag a node from generated into this node right here. Well then you can see what that does is that's generating texture coordinates and feeding them into this mapping node. So that now this mapping node knows what it's changing inside of your object. Well what that means is that means that now you can come in here and you can adjust things like your location. So for example, if I slide this across, you can see, and Z is not going to do anything, um, you can see how this is going to move along this face right here. So you can use this to set where your textures are placed on an object as well as the direction that they're facing. So you can also adjust the rotation, but then you can also adjust the scale. And so it's, it's kind of counterintuitive. So if you turn the scale up, your texture is going to get smaller. So let's say, for example, that I wanted this waffle texture to be smaller. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump the scale up to two on the X and Y. Well, notice how when I bump this up to two on the X and Y, what that's doing is that's taking this and it's half the size that it was before. So alternatively, if you wanted it to be bigger, you could put in a value of 0.5 for each one of these. And notice how then this waffle texture is going to be bigger. So you can use this mapping node in order to quickly adjust these materials on an object. So one thing to note is this will also work on other objects. So it doesn't just have to be a flat plane like this one. Um, and by the way, if you're wondering how I got the displacement set up, I'll link to a video about that in the notes down below as well. But for example, this also has that mapping node set up. So if I was to come in here and set this so that it had a scale of two and two, notice how that's going to change the size of the waffle texture that's getting applied to this object. So you can use this to customize the scale of your objects or your uh, material maps that are going on your objects really quickly. So five and five is going to generate a lot more of these waffle faces in here. So this is a quick way to set this up so that your materials get mapped on your more complex objects really easily. 
So I will link to videos on this page about setting up the displacement effect, as well as a video talking about how to quickly set up your textures inside of Blender using notes. So if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. That link will be on this page as well. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.